Hey, Shalom, all praises unto you, Abba Hashem, Shai. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone. And honestly, brothers, will be pushing this truth in sincerity throughout the four corners of the earth. So we're going to get into the markets and see the current uh, market um, health. Okay, we're going to go into a few articles uh, showing you the setup. Because you, you, we are living in a setup. Okay, uh, you got this thing happening now, right now with the um, UK elections. The main thing that they're emphasizing on is basically taking away your liberal um, your uh, your civil liberties, all right. And um, we also know that a, a big part of the chip being implemented, RFID chip, spoken about within the Book of Revelations, the thirteenth chapter, around about the sixteenth verse, is that the uh, current way of functioning within the economic market is going to be changed, okay. And in order to do that, you have to create economic chaos. So it's all good and well creating uh, terroristic uh, um, agendas, okay, to create civil unrest so you can take away civil liberties. But that's just one chunk of the chip that Esau's uh, 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 doing away with. He also needs it to where you have uh, complete and utter e economic uh, our chaos okay so it's one thing having it to where you can track people in every movement that they make but it's also going to be an additive to have it to where they use this instrument for commerce okay so you can even better track what they what they're doing okay because Esau's trying to obtain the birthright spoken about within the book of Genesis the 25th chapter all right where with uh, Jacob was going to have the inheritance of the whole world in other words to have the rulership and the ruling control of all the earth's resources okay so without much further ado i'm, I'm going to start off within this particular article and segue into um into the next rt article which is uh is called uh it's time to sell experts warn for possible correction in u.s markets because right now as a result of uh negative interest and i'm going to get into that right uh, in a second and i'm going to show you why it's really actually a, a dangerous thing and um more than anything, it's an indicator that the e economy that you're living in is actually doing worse, not great, okay? Because this is supposed to be a stimulus uh, package, if you will, okay? To stim to give the econ the econ economy that you're living in a stimuli, a, a, um, a, 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 a rebirth, if you will, a, re a rejuvenation, if you will, okay? And these, these are the instruments that have been implemented since the 2008 market crash and these are the instruments that were quote unquote implemented to revive the economy okay but what you're seeing is that you're seeing a slowdown and even if you had it to where the econ economy recovered well what they did they pretended that the economy recovered by giving people more jobs but these were zero co contract hour jobs by uh, easing uh, borrowing so people got into more debt so the economy is actually doing worse, but you don't see the mass effect of that because the interest rates are, are, are nigh on to zero and in some cases even negative. So what you're seeing is a situation where this economic uh, cataclysmic economic collapse is actually being a, 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 um, is, is, is on a time span, if you will. OK, because if you had the interest rates of 2008, then I believe this economy would have would have crashed and burned already. Okay, so let's get into this a little bit. Now, I'll, I'll try to break down as much things as I physically can do. Um, so it says, uh, U.S. Uh, stock markets right risk at highest level since 2008 financial crash. So like I said, the, the, the econom economic stimuli packages that they have out there, quantitative easing, uh, relaxed uh, borrowing, so neg near negative, uh, near zero, and even uh, a negative uh, um, uh, uh, packages that they have out there, have it to where the economy can look like it's doing very well, okay? But what you have is a situation where it's actually sluggish, okay? And 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 and, 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 and it's actually at the point where they're saying, these so-called experts, that they're about to hit another crisis, okay? It's at risk again. So let's read some of this. It says, American markets are facing the biggest danger of collapse since the financial crisis, according to money manager, uh, uh, um, uh, Bill Gross, okay, and this is from RT, as you can see, okay, and it says, um, instead of buying, uh, let's read this, it says, the uh, uh, the portfolio manager for Junus uh, Global warns investors are paying too high a price for the risk 
uh, for the risk they are taking. In other words, um, when you when you invest in a product, okay, whether it be on the housing market, whether it be into oil, okay, whatever the the project may be, what you what you're hoping for is that you're gonna get a, a nice return on that. Now, what you could do is you could you could you could base your investment on on previous uh, um, on previous uh, 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 expenditures, okay, what other people are doing within the market, okay, so you have a thing of euphoria, okay, euphoric spending, okay, buying certain things with the hope that you're going to make a certain amount of money back, okay, but what you're seeing now is, is, is as, as clearly described within this, he's saying that a lot of these so-called investors, they're just buying up stuff because the money is accessible because of the near to zero and negative uh, interest rates, but ultimately, they're just hoping that they make a return. It's not a, a it's not a what you know as a, a calculated investment. Okay, so that instead of buying low and selling high, you're buying high and crossing your fingers. Okay, all right. He said, "Good people ain't got no money, so they're charging full price for for, for their so called goods." Okay, so it says uh, the 70, uh, 70 year old uh, bond guru blamed the central bank's policy for low uh, and negative interest rates, which are artificially driving up asset prices while uh, while creating little growth in a real economy and punishing individual savers, banks, and insurance companies. So that segment here that you're reading here, we're gonna tackle it. In this, in this, in this uh, article here, but um, before we get into that, I'm just gonna carry on with this a little bit. So it says, um, expert forecasts U.S. U, U.S. economy at 2.2 uh, percent this year and 2.3, which I think that's a stupid statement because if you're saying it is at the brink of uh, uh of a crisis, all right, if it's at as high as risk, then you you know you shouldn't be predicting some time some type of growth. Okay, you should stay with the same statement that you made in the initial that you're saying it's at risk. Okay, so it says the gross, and, and you know they go into some numbers and so on and so forth. So now let's go into this, uh, um, this article uh, to corrobor co corroborate the points that we've made in the pri in, in the previous uh, segment of this video. Okay, so it says it's time to sell. Right, expert warn for possible correction in U.S. stock markets. So if you watch that um, um, movie, The Big Short. And they was going into the economic crisis, okay. There was a point where they was just selling off, okay, because you know pretty much that you know if if you hadn't sold off, you wasn't gonna make a return on 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 the investment that you have made, okay. It was basically it was the cut cut off point, okay, because when you got into where this economic e economy crashes, well, you can't make your money back. Once the economy crashes, the value of of the goods that you invested in is gonna be uh, nigh on to zero. So you gotta you gotta sell it off. Uh, prior uh, uh, to that economy crash, okay, they showed you that in that movie Big Short, and I did a, I did a review of that movie. Uh, you could check that out for yourself. Um, I miss my uh, my uploads, okay. So let's carry on with this a little bit. So it says while stocks are trading close to their record highs, all right, the risk is rising and the markets is bracing for a possible correction. Warns a president of uh, a president of the James Advantage. Fund buried uh, 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 James Advantage Fund, and the name of the individual was ba uh, Barry James. So you got individuals amidst there out there. They call themselves Israelites. Okay, they're talking about you know their mind is somewhere else. Well, if you had any kind of uh, uh, spiritual inclination, that you would maybe be able to decipher that there is no hope out here for the for, for Babylon. Okay, whether you're looking at it from a a, a, a thing of them taking away a so-called civil liberty, so you being able to move how you want to move, when you want to move, that's being taken away. Or whether you're talking about the the the, the monetary side of things and and the, and the so-called prosperity and the, of this kingdom, you know, the scripture does say that the grinding will cease before the Lord's return, and that's what you're seeing right now. You're seeing the grinding cease. Okay, in other words, uh, 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 the workmanship. Okay, money being made, all of that. That's 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 a thing of uh, uh, of of America two thousand. Okay, this ain't America 2000. We ain't talking about the technological, the internet boom. Okay, we ain't talking about uh, 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 America setting uh, people out there on the moon or anything about that. We're talking about the, the precipice, the top, the peak of Babylon. We've, le we've reached the, the peak of uh, Esau's technological advancements, his monetary advancements. Now it's just downhill until Yahab Hashim al returns and sets up a kingdom. But see what he's doing, he's actually artificially doing this in where if he's driving everything down so he can reestablish a new new so-called uh, so new world order. But we know that Yahab Hashim al is actually 
actually the one that he is establishing his own our new world order okay and that the lord is setting up a kingdom right as pursuing to the book of daniel the second chapter on the 44 verse a kingdom which shall not be left to other people all right but it shall break in pieces all of these kingdoms man and that's what we as as the men of the lord are supposed to be looking forward to that's where our mind is at that's where our faith our, our fervor is supposed to be our our, our our desires our passions okay it's all good and well saying, look, two weeks time, I want to be able to do this in Babylon. How much more so are you going to be able to enjoy whatever particular pleasure that is in the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh? Therefore, we say, as the scriptures say, you could have hastened the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh. And there ain't no way you're hastening the day of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh if you're setting up businesses. Your whole heart, your anastrophe, your conversation, what you're about is going to be towards you are, are, are succeeding within that business. Now, so, it, it, hey, the scripture talks about, you know, should any eat if if, if, if they don't work? Well, you got to work to eat. So you're going to be out there doing a job and so on and so forth. But in terms of advancing within this kingdom, that's going to be a thing. Whether it's, it's, if it's on the table, you take it. But to go out there and chase it like that, I'll be wary. Okay. So it says, we don't know whether, uh, where the peak will be in the markets. And that's 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 the key uh, I'll think to understand okay when you under when you understand how these um uh, uh crises are calculated in terms of what time span they're going to take place these people use historical uh evidence to do this in other words a market will peak at a certain period of time and there will be certain economic factors that people can see and measure and watch for okay and then you will have it to where people will say okay boom you know now that's what happened at this point Okay, this is what's going to happen this time. And you got a great example that only existed eight years ago. Okay, so when you got individuals talking about they looking to advance themselves financially within the kingdom, that only eight years ago they had the biggest crash, and they're saying they're seeing the same things that happened eight years ago. Well, you got to be bugged out. Man. Okay, you're going crazy. Okay, so it says. Um, so it says we do know when. Uh, we don't know when the peak will be. Uh, we don't know when there will be a peak in the markets and they tumble, but but it does look like the tire, uh, like a tire with a bulge. Okay, it says um, he uh, he said in an interview with CNBC, right, citing firms indicators over the last month or so. It says James added, it's just a matter of whether uh, the air leaks out slowly or quickly. Now, we know that Esau is setting up a so-called new world order, so we know that air is going to come out quickly. In other words, it's going to burst. Okay, it's going to be chaos, economic upheaval, if you will. Well, so why else you got it to where people are running around trying to stay safe and they got police out there with, with machine guns as if to say they're going to shoot uh, 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 shoot bullets at some explosion and that's somehow going to s s s solve the situation. Okay, you're also going to have economic upheaval. And these are all things spoken about within the book of Second Ezra, the 15th chapter. Chaos, okay, complete and utter chaos. Okay, and all of those are necessary tools for Esau to implement his so-called new world order to the end that these people are willing that these these, these military is going to be out there because they've just seen apparently so much chaos out there by where these terrorists that they need those people out there. More uh, more to the point, when this economic upheaval is unleashed upon these people, when this, econo this economy crashes, these people are going to be hope uh, praying for a new system to where they're going to be able to go to their costas again, go to their Starbucks again, okay? Buy uh, a nonsensical things that have no longevity, okay? Invest in, 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 in tangible goods that have no longevity. And that's what this all, this kingdom is all about, vanity. That's what you call, that's the, that's the pure essence of vanity. Investing in an item that's not going to even, even going to last a long time. Okay, when you go into the uh, ancient kingdoms, you had it to where a certain man will invest a certain amount of time in, into a particular uh, uh, subject or field or or, 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 or or understanding, and he will apply himself with that and, and grow within within that facet. Okay, well, whether it be money that he's inherited from his parents, he will invest in a field, and you see the thing grow. They showed you that within the um the movie uh, 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 Kingdom of Heaven. Okay, he inherited or he got that piece of uh, land, and over you know it was barren, it was shit. But over time, he worked it, man. Okay, and you know, it, you know, it quote unquote prospered. Okay, that's the thing of tangibility, man. That's that's the thing that that's the things that we're hoping for. Okay, so we're gonna inherit this the, the remnant of this earth, and the Most High is gonna rebuild it. Okay, after he, after the Most High unleashes them ICBM nuclear missiles to destroy Babylon. So it says here, um, 
So pretty much all I all I, all I wanted from this part, particular article is, is is been hit. So now let's go into this. Um, you know, I mentioned this a little bit earlier on. So it says why negative interests are mad and ba uh, mad, bad and uh, and dangerous. Okay, and this is um posted from the Spectator. Um, there's a few other different articles I could have gone into, um, but it should do the trick. So it says, what should we think about negative interests? What kind of Alice in the Wonderland world are we living in where companies and households are paid to borrow, right, and charged if they save? <laughs> and that goes to show you the type of economy uh, uh, Esau's trying to set up, right? The, the express fulfillment, okay, of the book of Habakkuk, the second chapter, where if the scripture says he, he he's basically his house is laden with a thick clay, okay? And when you check out that words, that word thick clay means debts. Okay, so everybody in terms of in, in order to survive, he's got to borrow money from over there, borrow money from over there. It's crazy. Okay, so it says seemingly crazy, neg uh, seemingly crazy negative interests are spreading nonetheless, impl uh, implemented by central banks. And that's the important bit. That's the absolutely cru crucial bit to take away from this segment of, the, uh, uh, of this of this article. This is set up by central banks who owns the central banks, the so-called Jews. OK, they're the ones that go into these different countries, setting up central banks and they have it to where these nations are indebted to them. Also, you can understand enslaved to them. OK, and in order and in setting up their chaos throughout their own central banks by way of negative interest or, or whatever, whatever. OK, what they're going to be able to do is actually have it to where the whole world is subjugated un underneath them are uh, 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 fully. OK, so it says they now apply. Uh, uh, in many countries, right, which um, the United States is one of those, and um, uh, uh, um, I don't know if Britain is just yet, but I think they're they're close to. It. I think they're about point two or point three, something ridiculous like that. Okay, so it says, should we be worried? Okay, could we see negative rates in in, in Britain? This was twenty sixteen, so I don't know if they've quite quite got there just yet. It says earlier this month, the Bank of England cut interest rates for the first time in seven years from point five. Right percent to our record low 0.25, and I believe I did a video on this when this happened. Quantitative easing was also restarted, with the banks set to um purchase 60 uh, 60 billion of bonds with newly created money over the next six months. Right up to uh, 375 billion, etc., etc. Okay, let's move on to the big next bit. Eight years from the onset of the financial crisis, and despite huge bouts. On money printing and ultra low interest uh, across the world, uh, much of the Western world, global economy remains sluggish. Okay, so upon this, these uh, uh, um, what you call dangerous maneuvers. Okay, um, for trying to boost some type of economic growth, the fact still remains that growth is still sluggish. Okay, researching for new ways to boost a uh, 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 growth, which you ain't gonna be able to. The scripture talks about how if he was able to heal Babylon, he would he will for it? Okay, that ain't gonna happen, right? Some central banks have stepped uh, through the looking glass, set interest rates below zero. Okay, the European central banks went first in 2014, following the, uh, followed by Denmark, Sweden, uh, Switzerland, and um, earlier this year, and this was 2016. Uh, so you can only imagine there's been a few that have actually. Uh, uh, implemented this tool. It says, um, and earlier this year, Japan, private sector banks in these in these countries must now pay the central bank to keep their money on reserve. <laughs> you know, you save money, you, you have to you have to pay to you have to you have to pay for that. But if you borrow money, you get paid to borrow. So what's the what's the end game? To be complete, completely indebted onto the elite banking families. Okay, they're the ones that are in control. Now you're gonna be a complete sl slave underneath them. OK, um, investors in the government bonds are similarly playing Japanese, uh, German and Swiss governments for the privilege of lending to them. Uh, another example for uh, topsy turvy economics. This idea by penalizing cash on deposits, negative rates will jolt spending and encourage banks to extend loans, thereby boosting the economy. There's little evidence that this outlandish policy works. Though increasing concern is it, that it could soon backfire. While encouraging lending is the theory, negative rates squeeze bank profits. Okay, and if you understand anything about how these is different businesses work, 
Well, you're going to have it to where a, 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 a small business is going to apply for a business loan from a bank and that bank is going to take it out of the profits that it has or the profits that it's going to uh, uh, track forward within its future. OK, so if you got it to where you got less profits, all right, uh, within the banks, in other words, the banks are being squeezed. Well, guess what? Small business loans are actually not going to be be made. OK, so you, me, uh, 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 Tom, Dick and Harry ain't going to be having no jobs because there ain't going to be no jobs because the businesses didn't get the business loans that they desired. Ain't nobody out here with just money like that to just invest. OK, even if they do, they're borrowing money. Okay, so they have it to where you have a business account, and when the business account goes bust, they go bust, and they still got money in their pocket. Okay, that's how this world works, right? It says, in, if conversely banks try passing on negative rates, firms and households could withdraw money, stuffing it underneath the Previvio mattress, mattress, and denying banks of crucial funding source. Japan has certainly seen a surge in sales of safe, uh, of safe since interest rates turned negative, pointing into the physical cash hoarding. Across Europe, banks are ex exploring the cost of keeping piles of cash in vaults to avoid charges. The Swiss canton Zug uh, can can cannot canton of Zug, right? Meanwhile, is um, in an eye-catching um, reversal reversal of normality. I started penalizing uh, those who pay tax bills early. Right, faced with negative government bond yields, pension funds, and other in international investors needing returns to meet their obligation, pers uh, uh, pursue an intensive search for yields, channeling money into risky assets and stocks, uh, and stocking up uh, the chances for another boom bust cycle. Right, far from um, far from uh, mending our economy, the then quantitative easing, right, ultra low interest rates could provoke another crash. Right, even more quantitative easing and uh, negative rates much uh, uh, make much more dangerous, uh, m make such uh, dangers more acute still. Okay, so ultimately, that's what happens. Just uh, you just you just it's, it's just gonna get worse and worse and worse by way of these uh, these uh, measures that they put in. So hopefully, um, that was of edification. As you can see, Babylon is pretty much done financially. Whether you're talking about civil liberties, whether you're talking about uh, prosperity that's all done okay and hopefully that was all for edification with that say all oh, praise unto ayah uh, double honesty apostles of great millstone honesty brothers that be pushing this truth in sincerity and laws but i'll see you on the next one shalom